the TEP or the totally extra peritoneal mesh plasty is a slightly more difficult operation than the TAPP which you saw earlier. In this operation we enter into the preperitoneal space or into a particular space just in front of the lining of the cavity or the peritoneum. We are then insufflating that or pushing in a lot of carbon dioxide and then you can see that white Cooper's ligament or a tough ligament that joins two areas in the groin. We then put two other trocars or operative instruments and through that with finer instruments we start the dissection. We increase the size of the area by taking down all the fibrous tissue and after some time we put the next port. The TEP is a technically difficult uh, operation but once one masters it uh, we find that patients have very minimal pain and discomfort in the post-operative period. For most patients with early hernias, small hernias and bilateral or hernias on both sides, we tend to do the TEP. The TAPP is a good operation if the hernia is very large and difficult to deal with. You can see that here a fairly large hernia has gone into the groin and I have now reduced it and you can see the defect in the wall that constitutes the hernia. Hernia is one of the commonest operations that is done in general surgical and laparoscopic surgical practice and I am proud to say that at Lima for the last 15 or 20 years we have been doing these patients either through the TEP or the TAPP. You can see that gentle and careful dissection of the structures is absolutely essential in doing these operations as a number of vital structures like the large arteries that supply the legs, the so-called iliac arteries run through this area. So one doesn't want to take any chance and one needs to be absolutely careful and to do the dissection as gingerly as possible. After the dissection is completely done, one is able to decide the entire dimensions of the defect and we usually deploy a mesh that is 15 into 12 or 15 into 13 centimeters in dimension. The mesh is placed in such a way that the groin is completely disconnected from the abdomen. One chooses the TEP or the TAPP. Here you are seeing a special mesh called the 3D Max. This is a three dimensional mesh uh, which has a different kind of a weave. It is woven in such a way that it will approximate and go flat with the tissue inside. This was one of the, in a workshop, one of the first times this mesh was uh, exposed several years ago and I am uh, rolling this mesh around so that we can take the mesh inside and you will see that once the mesh goes inside it will completely adhere <coughs> to the contours of the body and ensure that the patient has no recurrence. So this operation is a totally extra peritoneal or TEP mesh plasty for inguinal hernia at uh, Lima Lifeline Institute of Minimal Access Keyhole Surgery.